Hello and welcome to this episode of Ask Raghav. Today we are going to discuss four scenarios for mobile testing. Now these scenarios can be asked in interviews and these are common scenarios that you may also face while you are working with any mobile testing project. So let's start and the first scenario is you are testing a mobile app that needs to support both Android and iOS platforms. How would you approach mobile testing for cross-platform compatibility? Now a very very common scenario also asked commonly in interviews for mobile testing that how will you make sure that the tests you create for your app can work and test the app on both the platforms on both the operating system that is iOS and Android. So for this uh, the first thing is whenever you select the tool or the platform or the framework that you are going to use for mobile testing make sure that it has the options and features to test both on Android and iOS and most of the mobile testing frameworks and platforms and tool have it so use a platform like APM or Xamarin or Catalon Studio which can work on both as per your requirement now the other thing is uh, when you create your scripts for testing make sure that it will work both on Android and iOS now this can be tool specific and platform specific some platforms have separate keywords that can work for both the operating system so make sure based on the tool you are using based on the framework you are using you create the scripts in such a way that works on both Android and iOS then the third and very common way of handling this situation is that uh, you maintain separate test suites or separate collection so that whenever you have to test the app on Android or iOS you can run that particular test suite and also when you create you can also make sure that the you can add some conditional statements like if and else statements in your script so that whenever you are testing on Android then it should run this particular script if you are testing on iOS then it should run this particular script because it is very very common that there will be features there will be actions which have to be coded differently for different operating system and in that way the only way possible is to have a condition to check which operating system you are using and accordingly run the script then you should also regularly test your uh, test scripts on the latest versions of the devices mobile emulators simulators etc so that you make sure that your scripts runs on the latest versions and can test your app so this is how you can handle this particular scenario now moving on to the next scenario so scenario number two is you are testing a location based mobile app how would you simulate different locations to test location based features and again a very common scenario for mobile apps because a lot of apps are based on locations or in other words we can say that uh, they have to uh, work based on the user's location have to give the some suggestions based on location etc so how would you handle this kind of scenario so the first thing is we have to use make use of the location mocking tools or features available in your platform or framework that you are using for example if you are using APM this APM's location services so make sure that if you have that kind of a requirement the tool platform or framework that you use for mobile testing has the option or features for mocking the location then when you create the scripts you have to make sure that you have the option to set the location programmatically like the latitude and longitudes and according to that your app can function and you can test your app then there are some location based features you can read more about it they are features like geofencing proximity alerts mapping by configuring different location services so you should be able to uh, handle these features in your app and in your testing scripts in your framework for example if you talk about google maps if you open Google Maps and you say that uh, you know nearby hotels or hotels near me it will check your location and then give you suggestions so make sure that you have this kind of features then a very important thing is we also have to make sure whenever we are using such and such apps which are dependent on location in case the user has disabled location on their devices still the app should perform and should not give any incorrect results if there are any notifications to be provided to the user it should provide the notification that I cannot do this particular thing because the location services are disabled something like that but it should not behave incorrectly so this is how you can uh, 
test this scenario now moving on to the next scenario so scenario number three you need to test the performance of a mobile app that handles large amount of data how would you approach mobile performance testing so for this when you have to test a app a mobile app that handles large amount of data and you have to do performance testing the very first thing is it is common to any performance test not just for mobile app the very first thing you have to do is you have to identify what key areas what metrics you have to capture and test for example uh, the response times the cpu usage memory consumption and battery drain very specific to mobile device so all these are the metrics so you have to take these metrics from the owner from the uh, person who is uh, asking you to do a performance test that what are the metrics what are the uh, features i should test what are the things i have to check then we have to create realistic scenarios you should allow think time between request uh, you should do ramp up ramp down properly you should mimic real world usage and for this you can get production logs or you can you know ask the owner of the application how your users are using it you can you know get some user data from the uh, from the your uh, netops team or from the network logs you can get and check what are how is the application being used so create realistic uh, scenarios and again that load you are putting on the application should also be realistic then you can use performance testing tool like apache jmeter and then you can use android profiler for detailed performance analysis so it it will be based on the tool the platform you are using so you can check what all features are there and what you need accordingly you can select the tool or the platform then you also have to monitor the resource resource usage during the test you have to analyze the results identify the performance and you should also keep a baseline either you should get a baseline uh, before you do your test that this is what I have to compare my test against this is a baseline and whatever results I get I will compare against this baseline if you do not have a baseline you can create your own baseline the first test that you perform with different user loads you keep that as a baseline and all the subsequent tests that you will do will be compared against that baseline okay then uh, after this after you have done your performance test whatever findings you have based on that you can take help of your team or you can send your res results to, to the next team and then you can do the uh, optimizations like app code optimization database query optimization network request based on the results so this is how you will perform the performance test on a mobile app coming to the next scenario scenario number four you are testing a mobile app that requires integration with various third party apis example payment gateway social media login how would you ensure the reliability of these integrations again a very very common scenario for mobile testing that normally a lot of apps use integration with a lot of third party applications and apis so for doing this for checking the reliability of third party apis we have to isolate the third party apis and we can use mocking services like mock servers to mimic their calls or we can use stubs to simulate the responses so basically because we are dependent on a third party and we are, we don't have control over their servers we don't know when their service will be available also if we have to do some kind of performance test we cannot do performance test on any third party without their permission so you can mock these apis you can use some mocking services and you can use stubs for mocking the response then uh, you can create scenarios that cover various api response scenarios whatever scenarios you can uh, get from these apis you can create those scenarios and then you can include all the assertions then you can check success failure as i said you can add assertions to validate the app's behavior based on the expected outcome of these third party api calls and then whenever these third party apis are updated you have to check and for that you can conduct regression testing whenever these apis are updated so that you know that your test scripts are still valid and working fine so this is how you can handle the third party apis and with this we finished this scenario and these uh, this particular video if you have any questions you can let me know for the next session of ask raghav i will see you soon thank you for watching and never stop learning